Well, good morning to East Texas. Meteorologist Michael Barron's here with you on a cloudy Tuesday morning. Dry so far here in Tyler, but we're seeing those dark clouds off toward the north. That's the rain showers and storms that'll be heading our way as we continue on throughout the morning. The temperature is also pretty warm as you start your Tuesday. 80 in Tyler, 81 Longview, 80 in Jacksonville as well. The same for Nacogdoches and Lufkin. Feels like temperatures already up to 90 in Sulphur Springs, 89 Longview, 86 for Nacogdoches and Lufkin and the same here in Tyler. The next 12 hours will show rain chances on the rise here in Tyler and Longview about 40 to 50 percent as we head through 8, 9, 10 o'clock this morning. Rain chances should decrease as we head toward the afternoon, but they never totally go away. Expect those highs later today to be up in the low 90s. Something to keep in mind if you're heading out on the lakes today, your Tyler Ford Lake and Fishing Forecast. Watch out for showers and storms this morning. Pretty cloudy throughout the day today with temperatures a bit cooler than they have been, so so, so long as you wait for those storms to get through, not the worst day out there for fishing. It's certainly going to be humid as you head out this afternoon, though. As far as what we're looking at for the storms this morning, they're starting to move in. Like we said, still dry for Tyler and Longview. I think you guys will probably get to work and school OK this morning, especially if you're in deep east Texas. If you're in the northern counties, though, rain showers already pushing through the region. Make sure you grab the rain gear as you head out the door this morning. The heaviest storms are moving in along the I-30 corridor from Cass County down toward Marion County. Some lightning around with these storms, but not too much on this eastern edge. About 23 strikes in the past 15 minutes. The heavier storm up near Mount Pleasant. Good news is it has weakened some over the last half hour, but it's still producing very frequent lightning around 200 strikes over 15 minutes. This area of storms is really just dropping straight toward the south. We'll put the storm cone on for you, and it's going about 20-ish miles per hour, so it's still going to take a little bit of time before it gets in toward Tyler and Longview, but it's going to be in the Winfield area by 653 Jefferson at 656 the Carnick area by 709 Pittsburgh at 715 and Leesburg at 727 Marshall by 744. So about the next hour or so about two hours away from hitting you down in Longview and of course us here in Smith County as well. The other area of rain showers and storms continues to weaken, but is holding on this morning. It's over near Dallas. This area moving a little bit more toward the south and east and slowing down only about 15 miles per hour now. So that puts it still out of our viewing area in the next hour. You might see some early areas of rain work its way in toward Rains County, Hopkins County, toward Van Zant County over the next hour. But before any of that hits Tyler, still going to be a few hours. I think our rain threat going to come more from the north. Future Skycast here showing those rain showers and storms dropping in as we head toward 8, 9 o'clock this morning. That's when the rain chance starts to pick up for us here in Smith and Gregg County. Rain chances continue for the northern counties between now now and then the system should be weakening overall as it pushes through, but we're still expecting rain shower and storm chances here in Smith and Gregg County and eventually in deep east Texas, just a lower chance the further you head toward the south. Some of those storms could be a little bit gusty too. There is a marginal risk for severe weather, though we haven't seen any this morning. If we do see any this afternoon, it's going to be related to those gusty winds. Your forecast out there for today, rain and storm chances around this morning, 92 going to be your high as you head out for later today. Tonight, well, we're looking at a small chance for storms, but a better chance comes in for Wednesday. 50% chance for rain and storms, high near 88. We start to see rain chances go down as we head toward the weekend and Labor Day, but we're back to the mid-90s as well. Of course, with the CBS 19 mobile app, those rain chances around today and tomorrow are no big deal. You can track them right from your phone. The app is available in the App Store and Google Play. Just search for KYTX.